when the disk rotates uh, so as to so as to vary its uh, uh, angular velocity is a function of time find the total angular displacement of any point of the disk relative to the center so omega is given and uh, uh, omega as you see now is a function of time that means omega is changing that means there is X angular acceleration. Yes, sir. Okay, huh. and uh, uh, find the total angular displacement on the disc relative to its center when the disc will stop momentarily. So here is a situation. Would you like to solve this, all of you? Yes. 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 You solved it. We will solve. Ah, we'll solve. Okay, I need to question. Ah. Uh, uh, what what are you captured in the question here? So what are you captured you tell? See, one was that the omega is a oh Mr. Murthy B cool. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Which I have seen myself to be cool. Okay. See, in this particular numerical, they have given omega as a function of time. Okay, they have given omega as a function of time. Okay, they have given omega. See, uh, what is that omega? Let's see, omega is a function of time. And uh, they have told, so obviously, they have, they have given a condition where the disk will momentarily come to rest. Yes. Yes. See, I, I, hope, yes. I hope all of you remember this. In the case of yes. a linear motion, supposing the initial velocity was v, okay, v bar, sorry, I write it as u bar, you are familiar, and if the acceleration is in this direction, okay, so what happens? This will keep moving, this will get decelerated, it comes to momentary halt. And then it starts accelerating in in backward. Yes, backward So yes. you will appreciate that it will come to momentary halt. Same thing. If you throw a stone up, it will go there, stop momentarily, and then come down. Yes. The same way this disk. Huh? If you see the equation of this, hmm? so if you see the equation of this, it is two t minus three t square. Okay. So it is yes. two t minus three t square. Okay, so if you see here, if you go on putting the values of t, at uh, for example, if you open this, so you get here t into 2 minus 3. So therefore, at two points, one is t is equal to 0, and other one is other one is t is equal to 2. So at these two positions, it will come to rest. Yes, yes. Okay, that's something which we know. Yes. So now they have said, what is the total angular displacement? Angular displacement, yes sir. Integration of omega squared. Ah. Yes, Nila, very good Nila. Excellent. You are doing fine, but in the examination you are goofy. Okay. You can see all of you, you know, if you feel like talking to me, please talk. This Sunday, two, uh, two students and their parents did have a meeting with me. You can ask for it. Because after your marks and all, no, many parents, you and all, you please come. I would definitely want to talk to you and your parents. Okay, but of course through video conference. Because Corona is there, I don't want trouble. Okay, you can please. And rest assured, you know, I have got 30 years experience. I will definitely guide you properly. You need, you need counseling. All students need counseling. And counseling is different for different students. In fact, the homework that should be given to each one of you should be different. Okay, not the same thing. Oh, please, well, well, well said. The, so here they said the displacement. So displacement will be okay integration omega dt. Okay, so after uh, how many? Uh, what will be the angular displacement they have asked? And then, what is the question you hear? When the disk rotates so as so it's in a angular velocity so and so, find the total angular displacement at any point on the disk related to the center, then the disk will stop momentarily. 
Okay, you got it, Nila? Yes, no. sir. Huh. So here, uh, you know that the disk was momentarily at rest at t is equal to 0. Yes. Correct? Yes. So this will be 0. And this integration limit will be 2 by 2 by 2. By 3. Alright? And then you write the equation of the omega. What is the omega equation here? 2t. T square minus 3t. Two. 2t two minus 3t square dt. Okay? The limits 0 to 2 by 2. So, we get here 2t square by 2. Okay? Minus 3t square by 3. Are you right? Okay? And the limits are 0 to 2 by 2. So, substitute those values. So, you will get theta in the radians. Okay? Was, was it the only thing that we have asked? Now, find the total angular displacement of any point on the disk relative to its center when the disk will stop coming back. Okay, everybody got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, this is important huh? because uh, see the total displacement they have said that t is equal to 0, the omega is 0. It starts rotating from t is equal to 0. That is important from this equation. Because if t was not equal to 0, say t is equal to 1, then you know things would be difficult. You needed omega naught. Okay, so today we say we have taken omega naught to be. So this gives theta bit. 4 by 27. Yes. Huh? Yes. I heard one more voice there. Yes, sir. Who, who said yes? Sarup. Sarup. Ha. Sarup. 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 You'll borrow the bit put your lower jar. Thumpa. 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 Okay, but everybody, you know, you Aram say enjoy learning and please learn. Okay. Uh, in the foregoing example, find the average velocity over first two seconds. Uh, and and two by three seconds. This you got it as a four by twenty-seven. Eh? Yes, sir, four by twenty-seven. Yes. So in the average uh, this one in the first two seconds. So the the omega average or theta average? Omega average. Omega. Omega average. Omega average. Okay. Do it. Yes, sir. Average omega. That is, you will get here omega circumstances. Um, you can't write like this unless the alpha is constant. Because here, if you set the b omega by dt, so you have got two minus six t, and this is the function of yes. And this is going to be alpha. Alpha is this is going to be alpha. So you can't take this. So at that time you can find the t. Huh? T is the solution. And at that time, over to ah, how will you find the average? Total theta by total length. Wait, 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 wait. I want to say, wait. I wanted somebody to. Average velocity. But angular velocity is average. Huh? Angular velocity. Yes, I think. But sir, the total got one. You will find the total, total displacement by total. Total displacement by total time. Yes. That's how the basic definition of yes. the average is. Yes. Average is the total displacement upon total time. Yes. So that will uh, come to, uh, we got in the if you substitute 2 in this equation, so you substitute 2 in this equation, so you are getting 4 minus 8. Okay, minus so 2. 4 minus 8 by 2. Okay, so you would have got here uh, minus 4 by 2. Minus 2. Correct? Minus 4 by 2 is minus 3. Radians first. And uh, here, this will be what? 4 by 27 divided by, that is the Total radians divided by 2 by 3. So they have asked 2 seconds. One is 2 seconds, other one is in 2 by 3 seconds. Then, uh, in 2 by 3 seconds, they have asked in the 2 third. Uh, that is in 2 third seconds. So, 3 by 3 is 9 seconds. 
So you get two by nine, two by nine gradients per second. Change of position. No, that's right. If they are asking two points, two third of a second and first over two seconds. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. So we got minus two radians and we got two by nine radians per second. Yes. Same, like you know, average velocity is total uh, displacement upon total depth. Okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. See, one more thing, nobody should lose any confidence. Huh? This part, mechanics, is the most difficult part. I'm telling you, 1980, 81, 81, 82, when I did my PUC also, that time also, everybody was struggling with this. Even in engineering college, 10th of materials, everybody was struggling with this. Okay, this is very difficult. This, this mechanics part in physics is extremely difficult for everyone, students, teachers, everyone. Okay, so don't get uh, uh, you know disillusioned because you know that next year you know you will be much more matured, one year senior, and optics, current electricity, and all will will be relatively easier than this. And once you start doing well in next year's test, your confidence level will boost, and you will slowly understand whatever you have learned. Okay, because we will be using this Newton's laws and all this, you know while solving the electricity problems also, you will get accustomed and used to it. Don't worry. No, but keep your concentration and don't create any fear or some sort of a thing in your mind. Just be calm and cool. Every year this is the story. Okay? So just be cool and face it. Ah, but chemistry and mathematics should not be difficult. I'm telling you. If you are not doing well in chemistry and mathematics, then there is something seriously wrong with you. That is not difficult. Okay, physics, physics that too, mechanics is very difficult. Thermodynamics is not difficult. Thermal properties and that is not difficult. Okay, fine. So, sometimes alpha is given as function of omega. In this case, how to find the angular displacement and average angular velocity? Okay, so solve this example. So, here you see. Al, uh, angular acceleration uh, alpha varies, sorry, alpha is a function of omega. We have done this in linear case also. Okay, A is a function of V. You remember? Yes. Huh? We have called this type of things. Okay, that is linear case acceleration as a function of velocity. I hope you remember this. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. ADX VDV. Uh, ADX VDV LA. Like, uh, like that type. Yeah, yeah, but that equation no. Okay, so we have handled this type of a thing. If you remember, yes, yes. how did you handle this? Anyway, directly you handle this. Alpha is equal to minus k omega. So and so. Sir, alpha d theta is equal to omega. Uh, no, that is, that is you are, case. Ah, that is you are telling it's it's with respect to x. Here theta, no, you are going to slightly complicate it if you do it like that. Sir, we are asking how to find angular displacement. Find the where k is positive constant. Find the total time of motion. In assume initial angular velocity to be omega is omega. Yes, Okay, you you start with something basic. See, huh. so you start with something you know you might get something. So they are told alpha is equal to minus k root omega. Yeah, okay. okay, now you see what abstractions you can get. So here they are asking time, hmm. and uh, see whether you can get an equation from this, right? So my try would be. My, my drive would be d omega by dt is itself yes. alpha and you get here minus root omega. My drive will not see directly we can get dt. So we can get here k dt 
minus minus k dt will be equal to d omega by omega dash to pa. Okay, so if you integrate here, pass it straight away, we got in the question. Minus k integration dt. Okay, so this will be say some 0 to t and this they have told it is not omega naught to some omega. d omega dash to omega dash to Sir, omega naught to 0. Why? This is like, yes. Point of total time rotates the angular so and so. If k is positive, find the total time of motion yes. of the disk. It will come to the speed. It will come to the speed. Very sharp students. Good. Very good. Come to the speed. Okay. So, I think that all of you can do this. So, the integration of this will be minus half plus half. So I get here root omega, okay, omega naught to zero. Correct now, minus half plus one will be root half. Yes. By by half. Correct. Root omega. Correct. Root omega. Upon another half, you get minus omega. Here get here got it. Minus omega. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Correct. So, therefore, you are going to get here now. T is equal to Yes. Yes. So, you end up with this. Yes. Chicken, everybody got that? Yes. Yes. One other question asked. Where K is the first one? Find the total time of motion. Assume the initial angular velocity is so the total time of motion is yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. There will be some extension of these problems. Okay. Ah. I have printed the solution. Right. So in the above example, find the total angular displacement and average angular velocity over the time of motion of the disk. Total angular displacement. So how would you go about doing total angular displacement? Total angular displacement, as you know, we can take it from zero to t omega dt. You we'll have the function for omega. No, we have function for t. Sir, in terms of uh, this variable. So we can get omega in terms of t. Yes, sir. Hmm. You can get omega in terms of t. Kd square by four. So you get omega in terms of t. Ah, yes, Kd square from the yes. top equation. R we can use omega d omega by d. But uh, by two methods, I think you can do it. You can do it, solve it by two methods. One is as we have just pointed out. This equation itself minus k integration zero. T dt is equal to omega naught to omega. D omega by omega is power. So this equation itself will uh, give us here 2 into omega minus root omega minus root omega. And left side we are going to get it as minus k t. So you have got minus d zero and so omega is minus it comes to this condition. No, no, I am telling in general. General, see, trying to find an equation for trying to get an equation for omega. Yes, sir. 
So equation for omega is okay, there. So you can just transfer that here. So you get here uh, root omega will be equal to will be equal to. Um, okay, I I can I can uh, minus k. I have to keep it as it is. Minus k t by two. Okay. So plus root omega. So we will get the function of root omega like this. Yes, yes. Then we can substitute and get. That is one way. Another method? Omega d omega by d theta equals. Ah, omega d omega. That is we we were doing d d v equal to d x. And so here omega d omega will be equal to alpha d theta. D theta. D theta. <coughs> so straight away we can use this equation also. Yes. Both yes. equations. Good. See these are all you know. We used to use b. We used to use this. Yeah. Find the total angular displacement and average angular velocity over the time of motion. So uh, total angular displacement uh, theta you can find from either of these two methods. Either of these two methods you can find the theta here. And uh, as far as average velocity is concerned, so total theta divided by total time taken. Yes. Yes. Chicken. Yes. Hello. Yes. 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 So these are all basic problems. That is, we have done all these things for linear cases. Now we are doing it for the angular cases. Hmm. Okay, this method and uh, alpha is equal to omega is equal to e theta by e theta. This method. So, okay, both the methods we have done. Correct. They are also given by two methods. Yes. Fine, students? Yes. Yes. Aram se handle la, aram se handle. Don't pay under any tension. Yes. Huh. This is a very familiar problem. Now, this problem only all of you handle it. It's constant, sir. Huh? It's constant. You can use. Uh, you can use omega naught plus alpha. You yes. can use omega naught plus alpha. Yes. So it is going to come to rest. So it is safe. So fine. So you get here. So omega naught plus omega naught plus. So alpha is this. So omega naught by k. Yes. Omega naught by k. T will be equal to omega naught by k. First case. Second case will be. Angular displacement over time. So here, use the equation omega d omega is equal to alpha d theta. So can we use theta equal to omega naught t minus half alpha t? Pardon? Once again, come again. So that theta equal to omega naught t 
minus half alpha t square. Ah, half alpha okay. t square. Ah, you can yes. use that also. You can use that also. Yes. You found out t t from this. You can use that also. Or uh, since uh, 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 omega d omega, since they are told initially it is omega naught and then it will come to rest zero. You can integrate the left side. Aram sir. Yes. And uh, uh, alpha alpha value they have given. Yes. And uh, d theta directly you will get uh, theta from yes. that equation. Yes. Okay. Oh. Sir, since alpha is uh, constant here, sir, can we use that uh, uh, omega square minus omega naught by ah, yeah, all, yes, you can use that equation. All these okay, three sir. equations you can use if acceleration is constant. No, no, I'm not doing it. Sir, last one line. You want it to read? Yes, yeah, the only one. Yes, it is. Time after which any point of the fan has equal magnitudes of tangential and radial acceleration, assuming omega naught is equal to two root k. Yes. So here the fan will come to rest. So you can use this equation. Zero constant acceleration. So omega is equal to omega naught minus they are told acceleration is k, k into t. Okay, and uh, since it is going to come to rest, so straight away we get t is equal to omega naught by k. The first problem is solved. And the second one I will prefer we will use omega d omega. Is it minus to, omega naught square by two. Uh, this is equal to alpha alpha into d theta. Okay, and they have told the fan will come to rest. So straight away you can find this. So we can minus zero to k is equal to minus k t as a function. Uh, that also you can use. But see here you can, you, can, you can use that also. You can use that also enter because alpha you can use any of the uh, this equations can. But I would prefer this, uh, you know, because straight away you will get here uh, omega square, 2 omega square. So, omega naught square by 2. So, so, this is minus omega naught square by 2. So, you will get here. So, k into theta. So, here you will get here. So, theta will be equal to. Uh, you get here omega naught square by two. Of course, k k will also come. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Sir, if you are writing, you should write minus k, no, sir, because it is decelerating. Yes. Yeah, minus. K. So you put it here minus k here. Yes. Then this minus minus will get cancelled here. Yes, you get omega naught square. Here. No, sir, no cancelling. No, hey, look, you will minus omega naught square put it na? Yes, yeah. sir, you will get omega naught square only because you are substituting omega naught square. Omega naught to zero. See, this oh, one will give you this. So, that minus minus will get given. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Minus minus will Okay, got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh. Then, uh, the next one. Time after which at any point the fan has equal magnitudes of tangential and radial axis. Yes, sir. Tangential and radial acceleration. So, wait, don't tell the answer. Did I ask you? So, tangential acceleration and radial acceleration. So, tangential acceleration, all of you know, will be alpha. alpha. And radial acceleration will be omega square. Omega square. Okay. So, from the previous, and alpha is given to you. So, you will get here, and they have said at some time t, both are equal. So, I'll get here kr will be equal to omega yes. square r. Okay, so omega square r. So, r still go. So, here you will get here uh, k is equal to omega square. Okay, and you have found out the equation of uh, what are they asked? They asked him? I'm given omega. Time. After, uh, after what time? Uh, you will, uh, after what time will both of them be equal? So you already found out omega is a function of yes. time that is already known. So we will substitute that equation. I think it's omega square. 
of the fan before it stops rotating. So you have found out the theta, theta average is. speed of the fan over the 20 times. Number of rotations. So we have found divided out by two pi, sir. Uh, we have found out theta here divided by 2 pi. Yes. So the number of rotations n will be omega naught square divided by 4 pi k. Four four pi k. Pi. Okay. And they have asked for the average angular speed of the fan for the total time time. So average angular speed will be again theta divided by the total time. So we have found out theta and divided by the total time time. Because the acceleration or omega naught no. and uh, the here the k is constant. Yes. So we are not Okay, so k is constant here, and uh, uh, the final omega is this. So you can get it directly. Okay, so then you can say omega naught plus omega divided by t gives you the uh, divided by two gives you the average velocity. And we will get 1 by 5. You know? If we substitute omega naught square as 2 root, we will get 1 by 5. Omega naught is. No, no. See, second case, sir, they are not told. Second case, sir. Second case, they have told you average number. See, here only they have told, ma. Here only they have told it is only for this uh, two substitution they have told. Here, by solving this in this case, they are doing omega naught is equal to two root two. Okay. Yes, not yes. So keep it there. Okay? Yes. Right. So four pi k is equal to 